What is up guys, Zane from the Zane Madden YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about pass block elite and whether or not it actually applies to the other linemen on your team. But before we do that, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the uploads coming your way here on the Zane Madden YouTube channel. If you guys wanna watch me play Madden 20 Live, you guys can find me on the Twitch platform, twitch.tv slash Zan Madden. The link is below in the description. And I do have exclusive subscriber only content for my Twitch Prime and tier one subscribers. My tier two subscribers will get my Washington Redskins hot route master offense on top of those sub tips that go out each Friday. Okay, guys, let's get into today's topic. If you guys missed yesterday's emergency upload, we had two videos yesterday, I had a regular video. And then last night around 930 central time, I put out an emergency upload talking about the pass block elite ability at the center position. It was kind of a quick video, a little three minute. Hey, just do this. I wanted to make sure to follow up today and kind of talk about the ability. Uh, and what it can do for you. So if you guys want to watch the whole video from last night, it is linked in the description below. It's only about three minutes, but the too long didn't read of it is that if you put pass block elite at your center position, your center will be better and the rest of your offensive line will actually give you a pocket. So what I've done here is I've gone with the Eagles and I've put Brandon Brooks at the center position. Brandon Brooks is actually a guard. So very similar to last night's video in which I talked about Randall McDaniel who is a left guard, I'm playing him at center currently on my Mutt team because he gets pass block elite and also gets two other abilities because higher overall linemen can get three. There's only three linemen right now as of April the 21st in Mutt that have three abilities. The rest of the linemen can get two abilities. That's why I'm playing McDaniel out of position. But if you want to use a regular center and use pass block elite at center, that's absolutely fine as well. Here on the Eagles, Brandon Brooks does have this. And what I've done is I've subbed out any other linemen uh, including Jason Kelsey that have abilities and I'm making sure that I've just got regular dudes out there. So you can see here, I've got Jason Peters, uh, Sem Semalo. I've got uh, Vitae at right guard instead of Brooks because I moved Brooks to center and moved Kelsey out of the lineup. And then Lane Johnson no longer has any ability. So he's going to look like kind of like an 89 overall. Basically, this would be what you would do in Mutt. You have one stud and then you kind of just have the rest of your guys without ability. So what we're doing on the flip side is we're going to be going up against uh, basically the monsters of pass rushing. We're going up against Nick Bosa, Aaron Donald, Joey Bosa, and Khalil Mack. So we're going to go up against a four-man pass rush here, just kind of showing. Now, obviously, when you have a matchup of these four pass rushers against the Eagles line that I've shown you with just a pass block elite, you would expect some wins for the defense. In no way, shape, or form was last night's video of videos trying to tell you guys, hey, you will never take a sack. We're not to say that you won't get block shed. What I'm trying to tell you is that you're going to get far more three and four second pockets. And if you have a escape artist quarterback, those three and four second pockets that you would have with a field general to get the ball out are now five, six, seven on the run, extending plays and getting routes open. So we were talking about how this is something that you could use to uh, allow yourself to pull an ability off of a wide receiver, give yourself more of a pocket, and then find those receivers because they have more times to let or more time to let the route develop. So. We're going to go ahead and just kind of run uh, plays here, just kind of show you guys the pocket. Uh, don't worry so much about, um, you know, the routes or anything. I'm just going to try to show you some pocket presence here. Again, four pass rush abilities here. They're all unstoppable forces and fear mongers. They're the best of the best pass rushers in Mutt right here. Uh, Bosa, Donald, Mac, and Joey Bosa. So we're just in regular doubles. Again, we've got Brandon Brooks at the uh, center position. So uh, you can see him there. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and try to throw the ball here. And yes, there are going to be some block sheds because you've got so many mismatches with extra abilities. But one thing you'll notice in the archive yesterday was that when I was running this in Mutt with basically top end pass blockers getting the boosts of the pass block elite in Mutt, they were not getting shedded. I'm talking dual edge threats in over G with a spy wasn't getting home. 3-4 with three pass rushers wasn't getting home when they were just sending the front three and running cover four drop show two. Really, the only thing that was getting home was the heavy blitzes when you're you know sending seven. Uh, and it just basically causes the offensive line to do really bad block targeting where they're passing off guys and there's actually nobody to pass it off to. So enough talking. Let's actually look at it here. Uh, you can kind of see pretty solid pocket, you know, stepping up into it. You know, four pass. I mean, we're talking, that's a pretty massive pocket here, chat. You can see how long I had to throw that ball without anybody actually getting home. That's a really good example. Um, you know, we'll just continue to try to run this here. Uh, there will be some wins. You know, obviously some guys are going to win. Again, you're looking at this pocket. It looks pretty darn good. I mean, you're, you're moving around here three, four, five seconds uh, to throw with no abilities outside of what you have on the center. 
Uh, again, we'll continue throwing here. Let's go ahead and check out of a short pass concept into a more of a deep pass concept. I'll block the running back. You can see right here, again, pocket's looking pretty good. Steps up into the pocket. You know, we, we got four seconds pretty much every rip here. Let's go ahead and audible around. Let's try to choose, you know, maybe we audible into a different set. Uh, let's go ahead and go like tight doubles, for instance, here. We'll just block the running back. Again, this is just five versus four. You know, we audible into this. Pretty good. I mean, yeah, there's an instant win right there. So out of our first three or four snaps, we did have a, a pretty quick win one time. I mean, we're talking about we're going from a situation where 70 to 80% of your pockets are there for three to four seconds to, uh, you know, as opposed to what we used to have where you could even block a guy with a, a pass rush ability for, you know, half a second. They were instantly winning all the time. So uh, you can kind of see here again, you know, one guy, one guy able to block shed. Still, that's more than enough. That's plenty of time. If you're thinking about, uh, escape artist quarterback you've got time to make this work uh you see right here here's a guy in the zone not even getting the guy who was in the zone is not getting home the guy who's winning is actually aaron donald against um i want to say that left guard is samalo who's a 73 overall now we've got two guys in the zone here again let's just pay attention to you know right here aaron donald you know still still get held up pretty well right there uh on that play allowing us to develop and you know make the throw uh two guys in the zone two regular rushers here this is looking pretty solid i mean you know, I'm not saying you're never going to take a sack, but I mean, if you don't look at this and say, wow, this is a significant improvement just from having one ability on your line. And actually, I apologize. I didn't even notice Lane Johnson had a star under him initially. Let me check and see what he's got. He's got a uh, nasty streak. So he doesn't even have pass blocking abilities. He's got a run blocking ability. So uh, you can see right here, you know, Donald's winning consistently against his guy, but you're talking 99 strength, the 99 overall pass rusher against the 73 overall. Uh, when you actually think about that 73 overall versus a 99 pass rusher, Samalo's doing what he can over there in that in that regard. So you give him a little bit of help with the running back on that side. I mean, look at the pocket. Really good pocket presence here. Uh, you know, you got something to step into, make reads. I'm not actually setting up route combinations. Now you've got both your edge rushers in the zone right here. See how this kind of looks. Edge rushers, yeah, a little bull rush animation. Uh, but again, we're talking four guys here. So, you know, we're only seeing the wins coming you know once these guys are in the zone you're not going to face anybody in butt with four pass rush abilities you know it looks pretty darn good i mean you can see with a little bit of pocket presence you got something to throw with here you know as as we start to get to the point where these guys are you know all lit up we got three of the four lit up now um you're going to start to see some instant wins for sure you know right there you're seeing you know with all of them in the zone yeah of course they're winning but overall i think when you look at the tape here uh this looks pretty good it looks pretty pretty good um, you know, I, I would definitely go to say that this is something that, you know, has some, uh, has some hair, you know, you, you've got something here that you can work with. Of course, I'm not slide protecting, do anything like that. You know, right here, I could go ahead and try to roll out, throw that ball, get them out of the zone or whatever. You know, you've got enough time to make something happen just by having a pass block elite at center. So all in all, I think this is a success guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Wanted to really just kind of follow up on yesterday's video with, you know, a little bit of footage for you guys. I felt bad that I could only get you guys a, hey, just do this. Listen to me. You know, here's here's no proof it works, but just listen to me. So I wanted to follow up this morning with this video. So if you guys liked it, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, thumbs up. Any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, drop those below. We'll see you guys tomorrow with our next upload. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.